Hello crafty friends, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. We are going to use one of these cute little rolling pins and make something cute. Check out my paper packs. I've got a bunch of them on Etsy if you'd like to uh, get some gingham or buffalo check, however you want to call it. The, this is from Doodlebug and it's a very nice pack. One side is the gingham and the other side is wood texture, or like a wood look. And so it kind of looks like they kind of go down in colors. They go from, you know, orangey, then there's a more of a yellow. And so um, I'm just going to take one of these and cut it down. And I'm going to make it so it can wrap around this cute little rolling pin. It didn't take much paper and I got that to fit. And I wanted to paint the the handles black, so I painted those and it dried nicely. I think white would have looked nice on this too. But I went with black because this is a bee themed uh, video and so I'm going to go with the yellow, the blacks, and the whites. This is the sticky tape I also offer. It's like super sticky and works really good for adhering paper to, uh, you know, lots of things. Paper to paper is perfect. It also works really nicely on paper to wood and glass. Um, very sticky. I've used it for years. So I ran that around there. And then I decided to put some twine just to give it a little cute little bow. And in order to keep it up on this rolling pin um, area, then I had to put a little hot glue in there. And it doesn't show me doing that, but that's how I got that to stay up there. Otherwise, it kind of wanted to go in the center of the handle. And these are the little bees. Um, I got these, I believe, from uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is going to be used throughout the whole video, these cute little bees. And then just to finish this off, I'm giving just a little dotted line to give the bees, you know, a little, a little path or the bee, a little path. There it is. Turned out really fun and easy. Next DIY. Okay, so this one is from uh, a little trivet tray I got from Target, and I can list where I got this print out. It was from a, um, a place on the internet. And I want to paint this a pretty yellow. It's called King's Gold, and I believe it's an Apple Barrel product, and I'll be using that quite a bit for this too because it's a perfect bee color and honey and all that. And so all I'm going to do is just paint the top and the inside, and it'll just give it a little pop. This was a fun video to do. I really enjoyed it. Uh, just had a lot of fun coming up with designs and ideas. There's a really fun one I've got coming up here, and I just, it's my favorite part of this. This one turned out really cute, though, too. And then the tape did a nice job of keeping everything just nice and trim and even and neat. These little coasters I found um, quite a while ago. They were only a dollar a piece at Target. And I got a, I believe I got a round one too. And so this design was just a little big, so I ended up trimming it down and just used a popsicle stick to kind of just take some of that off so it would lay in there perfectly.
and then Mod Podge it down and you're good to go. Put some on the bottom, on the front and back, and I even put it over the painted area. And it looked to me it needed just a little bit more. So I did put a little jute string on there. And when I first started, I was using um, hot glue. That quickly came off. It did not stick to this coaster. And so then I ended up getting out the Aline's glue and it worked great. It was actually, you could see the glue, but once it dried, everything was nice and clear. This was such a fun and easy project to do. I could see this going really nicely on wood or anything like that. Just a fun little project. Next DIY. These I found at Target and I like the shape of them and so they're a dollar. So I picked up a few of those and I'm just going to put some of this cute paper in the bottom of it, this bee related paper. And I'm just using, you know, my fing the fingers and just crimping it and, you know, kind of measuring it, eyeballing it. And then it popped in there nicely. It wasn't overly big or too small. And I just use a little um, stick of glue to put some down. Whatever you have on hand should work fine. A glue stick was what I had. I see that bees are really in these days. It's just so fun to see some of the decor that is out there. Um, the stores have got some really fun things. I just used some of my stickers and I made the word sweet and I wasn't sure I was going to do it straight like a rectangular shape to match. But I ended up just going with this old technique. I remember in school we would do this with words. And you just kind of make a bubble like word. And then I added a little black to the back so it would pop out a little bit. I put some of the pop dots, the dimensionals, on the back to give it a little lift. Pop that into place. And I didn't show on here, but I did add black around the top part of that. You can see it in this, this spot. Next DIY coming right up. This is my favorite one. This is one of these little plastic eggs that I got from Dollar Tree. Now it's an egg, you know, the the size of it is just little. It's a little egg. Wait till you see what I make with this. So I'm taking some of this um, filler and I'm going to fill it up and allow that to dry. And that kind of gave it some support. The spackling. And then all you're going to do is Go around the whole thing with a little bit of that jute string. And if you haven't guessed it yet, we're making a cute little beast, the little skep, little hive, however you want to call it. I just took my time and went around a little bit of glue here and there and tried not to overdo it on the glue. And finish it off. And then, of course, you want to put a little black dot or um, circular piece for the um, bees to go in. So I just glued that on. It's just a little piece of paper and you want to put a little bit more of the jute string around it. Give it a little detail and then I got out those stickers again and added those in for the bees and this one turned out to be my favorite and it's because it's just tiny. It's just a tiny little egg. Cute, cute, cute. And here's another DIY coming right up. Well, you can't have bees without some honey dippers. 
and I have seen people have been decorating these so it's a little bit of a copy from somebody else but I kind of had my own little spin on it simply just paint that with that beautiful king's gold yellow let that dry and then put a little uh, farmhouse ribbon on there put your bees on there again and you're good to go really cute easy these are fun things for your tiered tray And there's those little cuties. And here we go. We've got one more here. And these are just cute little wood pieces. I got that at Hobby Lobby. So you'll probably see me using those. And this is that cute little gingham paper from that pack. I just, I had some left over. Just gonna make a cute little B sign. Stamp that out with some ink right on there whatever you'd like and I decided to put be happy and then to finish off I painted the uh, sides white and I got my fun little sticky tape out put that down and it stayed on there very nicely This would be a cute little thing if you wanted to put it on like a beaded, like a beaded garland. I thought of it. I just kind of ran out of oomph. So that would be like a an end piece or a middle piece. You could kind of make it like a like a necklace in a way. But well, here's the final reveal. This is how they all turned out. I love all of them. They're just very uh, bee-like and fun. There's that cute little hive that I love. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these fun little crafts. They're awesome, they're fun. Thank you so much, my friends, and you give it a try too, you'll like it. You take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, my friends.